been a really fantastic turnout. We had over 300 farmers here today at our open farm event. Um, and that's a real testament to the commitment of the industry and our farmers to really tackle water quality. The panel was really great uh, to have uh, the various stakeholders and experts here today and really share their insights and demonstrate um, what they're doing to really help address water quality and also, and that's really important to a lot of our farmers, uh, go out to Brussels and um, fight for the retention of the derogation. Donal is a member of our Tier Lawn Chargers Future Farm Programme. He really is a, an exemplar in best practice. And it's not that he's doing thing, anything wonderfully exciting, but what he is doing is he's doing brilliant basics. And the combination of all these uh, are having a positive economic and environmental benefit. So yes, they're reducing impacts on water quality. Yes, they're improving its carbon footprint. But they're also improving milk solids here in the farm. And by extension, they're improving farm level profitability. And we want to share this good news and these practices across our wider supplier base because we know together we can make the positive changes that are required for a sustainable future for ourselves, our farm families, our co-op and give ourselves every chance of retaining the derogation over the months ahead. You know, I'm so delighted that we did get such a turnout because it really enforces the message um, that we are trying as farmers to do our best uh, for the environment. Like what I do here um, as part of the programme is only one person, but it really is going to take uh, a collaborative approach from everyone to get it over the line. And um, so I I'm very confident that um, after today, yeah. Every farmer has to make a small difference on their farm. There's no good in Donal here being the best boy in the class and doing everything right because it won't have an impact on water quality. Our waters and streams and tributaries cover such a huge area of Irish farmers' farms. It's, it's something that everybody needs to do. The message I'd like to get out is that farmers that attend this farm walk today would talk to other farmers that haven't come to this farm walk and spread the message within the farm community and talk at co-op meetings, talk at uh, farm representative meetings, talk at Chagas meetings, talk at the mob, talk at the co-op and get that message across. And what we really see here is there is momentum building and I think that reinforces that what we're doing is the right thing to do. Um, and that our farmers expect us and want us to engage with them on this matter.